If you look up at the night sky, unless you have too much pollution in your city, you will agree to it that the universe is quite a wonderful place to be in, whether you are a theist or an atheist. If you look at the universe, you will find a blend of chaos and order in it. How can all of this have happened without someone creating it, is the question that has bothered philosophers and scientists for centuries. Even if you look at the intricacies of your own body, you will be amazed if you look at it very closely and attentively. Your brain, your heart, most of its functions are happening without you having to do anything at all. How can everything function so perfectly if there is no creator? This is the basis of what is known as the teleological argument in philosophy. The argument is, if you find, let's say, a clock on the seashore, you would assume that it was created by someone and not just happened out of mere accident. Why? Because the clock is too complex a mechanism to have had happened accidentally. Now, if something as complex as the clock could not have happened accidentally, why should you assume that a universe which is indubitably far more complex than the clock has happened without a creator? Well, this argument looks very logical, but it does have a fundamental flaw in it. It is based on a reasoning that nothing can exist without a creator. So it implies, if something exists, then it ought to have a creator. And that's how the idea of God must have originated. There is creation, so it ought to have a creator, because without a creator, nothing can exist. But then, why should this rule not be applicable to the creator or God as well? And who created God? These often get cross when you ask this very logical question and they explain it away by saying that God has no creator and cannot have a creator. But then, why can't we accept the same principle in the first place, that the universe has no creator and cannot have a creator? So why not accept that something fundamentally has to exist without a creator? What do you think? In the next segment, we will be looking at whether having belief in God is useful or not. You can write to us how you found the video in the comments below. Also, if you get offended when you are made to think on these topics, make sure you don't subscribe to our channel because we will be bringing you more of such videos in the coming future. Thank you for watching.